the main question that people ask is, hey, should I do ingress at, uh, should I do SSL termination at the ingress or should I do it at the LB? You know, this is, this is the most uh, frequently asked uh, question. So the way you would do, it really depends on your organization, how your uh, networking is set up and things like that. And, uh, you know, if your connection between your load balancer and the nodes of your cluster, if that is secure, you know, you, you can terminate your SSL on the load balancer and then you can have the communicate back in communication uh, without SSL. So that's that's doable. But if it is not a secure channel, then you know do your SSL termination on the nodes itself. So that way the traffic is encrypted all the way up to your nodes. And also sometimes it, it depends on the policies of the organization. Some some of the organizations they have a policy that hey you cannot terminate uh, SSL at the LB. If the SSL, the traffic has to be encrypted all the way till the nodes. So it's it's a policy driven thing. So it's a decision uh, based uh, based on your business you are in. And the other thing to keep in mind is, you know, when you create a certificate or a TLS uh, secret in Kubernetes, it's a namespaced object. What it means is, if you are going to launch an app. Uh, you let's say if you have a wildcard certificate, if you want to launch your apps in different namespaces, then you got to create that uh, secret in, a, in each of the namespaces. So that's an additional overhead that you have to keep in mind if you plan to use, uh, you know, SSL termination using ingress. And, you know, how do you rotate the certificates and things like that. If, if you have the certificate at LB, you know, rotation means you just have to uh, kind of, uh, you know, leave it up to the uh, load balancer to auto rotate the certificates. For example, if you are using AWS, or you can just update it in one place. So this, these are the various things that you have to think about when uh, you are making this decision. You know, where you do SSL termination, and uh, the other um, architecture. You know, one of the frequently asked questions uh, is, hey, you know, how should I architect, architect my application for high availability and, you know, what should I do with uh, Ingress? So this is, this is one of the uh, architectures that I personally like uh, when I'm deploying Rancher and also when I'm deploying my workload cluster. The, here, I'm giving an example of uh, AWS. You can uh, use the same concepts in other cloud providers or if you are using other uh, solutions so you know i set up rancher in a ha mode i have I, I the way i do it is i create a rke cluster using multiple availability zones of a particular region like you can see the different colors of the cloud here Th those represent the different uh, re availability zones and then i uh, create three nodes in these three different uh, az's and create RKA cluster on top of it, I create a rancher. And I have a load balancer in front of these three nodes. And this load balancer is pointing to my uh, three different nodes. Now here I have an option of doing TLS, or which is SSL termination, either at the load balancer level, or I could do it all the way up to, uh, all the way inside the RKA cluster. So like I mentioned, it really depends on your organization. You know. Both both the things work uh, in, uh, in Rancher, and you know you can have your uh, domain pointed to this uh, particular load balancer, ranchers.mydomain.com, and that that's how you access Rancher. And when you create the workload cluster, what you could do is, you know, you could launch your uh, nodes, worker nodes, in the three different availability zones, and uh, you know you can have uh, multiple uh, replicas of your etcd like three if you are running in three az's or five you know it's got to be like an odd number and then you can have multiple of your control plane uh, uh, nodes and here what i have shown is uh, the 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 ingress nodes so what i have done here is instead of running the ingress controller parts on all the nodes of my cluster i would create a new node template and i use uh, you know the scheduling rules to make sure the ingress parts run only on these nodes using labels, stains, or tolerations, all sort of uh, things. And you know these nodes are uh, special nodes, like probably like you know much beefier than my other nodes in the cluster, which just handle only the ingress traffic. And then you know 
I have my load balancer pointing to just three these three nodes instead of pointing them to my hundred nodes in the cluster or you know ten nodes in the cluster. Uh, you know I have more control on where uh, my traffic is directed to using the load balancer. And then I have obviously my worker nodes. And using things and tolerations, I make sure that none of my actual workloads get deployed on my ingress nodes, or they do not get deployed on my control nodes and etcd nodes. And in front of this load balancer, I prefer to use a wildcard DNS. This gives me the flexibility to launch any application on the fly, and I can give whatever name I want. So here I just chose star.apps.mydomain.com. Let's say in your organization, you have a, 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 like two or three different production clusters. Let's say, you know, I would probably uh, name them as, uh, let's say, uh, you know, US dot prod dot my domain dot com for the US region. Uh, and then I have a different cluster for Europe. I would say uh, star dot u eu dot prod dot my domain dot com, something like that. And then for my internal QA purposes, I would create a domain called star dot qa.mydomain.com that's for that's a qa cluster for my testing purposes and for development i would probably use star.dev.mydomain.com you know having this kind of a setup uh, really gives you the flexibility you know you don't have to keep going back and forth between it and uh, your network team to have your load balancers open uh, you know your dns entries uh, reprogrammed open up firewall rules and stuff like that just have this wildcard dns entry and you know it, it is super powerful and super uh, flexible that so this is this is one of the architectures that i would recommend for you know ingress based routing and for high availability